Hello, my darlings. It's so good to see you. I have just received a new book from the library and I'm going to perform it for you right now. So get comfortable. It's time for... Once upon a time. Hello, my darlings. In today's story, I'm going to perform for you Umbrella by Taro Yashima. It is a Caldecott honor book, my dears, and has lovely illustrations. I can't wait for you to see them. Follow along if you have it. On the first page, you'll notice there's some calligraphy in Japanese. It's the word Haru, or spring. Momo is the name of a little girl who was born in New York. The word Momo means the peach in Japan where her father and mother used to live. And there's a beautiful drawing of a peach, my dears. On her third birthday, Momo was given two presents, red rubber boots and an umbrella. They pleased her so much that she even woke up that midnight to take another look at them. Oh, my dears, she's climbed out of her crib and is looking at her beautiful red boots and umbrella. Do you have an umbrella to walk with in the rain? I love red boots, too. <laughs> oh, another beautiful calligraphy, my dears. This time it's the word Natsu or summer. Unfortunately, it was still Indian summer and the sun was bright. Every morning, Momo asked her mother, who used to take her to the nearby nursery school, why the rain doesn't fall. The answer was always the same. Wait, wait, it will come. Oh, my dears, look out the window. We have a beautiful sunny day as in the neighborhood. Beautiful window she can look out of. One morning, Momo was more impatient than ever because the sun was brighter than ever. But strangely enough, a splendid idea made her jump up when she was watching the sunshine in her milk glass. I need my umbrella. The sunshine bothers my eyes. But her mother said, you know, you can enjoy the sunshine better without the umbrella. Let's keep it for a rainy day. Oh, look, poor Momo is trying to protect her eyes. The sun must be very bright. Oh, and look, she has sunny side up eggs for breakfast. I love the plate, my dears. Yes, look at that. And, and the yellow background like the sun. Yes, how beautiful. Next morning, Momo was still unhappy because she still could not use her umbrella. But strangely enough, another idea made her jump up when she was watching the people on the street. I certainly need my umbrella today. The wind must bother my eyes. But her mother said, the wind might blow your umbrella away. Let's keep it for a rainy day. Oh, look, she looked outside. You can see people are holding on to their hats, my dears. Yes, it must be very windy out there. Oh, another beautiful calligraphy. Here we go. Ame, rain. It was many, many days later that finally the rain fell. Momo was awakened by her mother's voice. Get up, get up up. What a surprise for you. Oh, and look out her window, my dears. Yes, it's a very dull gray rainy day. How wonderful. Yes, you know, we need lots of rain to grow food and make the grass green. Yes, oh, how fabulous. And now she can use her umbrella. Oh, boy. Momo did not stop to wash her face. She even pulled the boots onto her bare feet. She was so excited. Yes. Oh, my dear, she's putting on her red boots. Look how happy she is. The pavement was all wet and new. Doodling she had drawn yesterday was not there anymore. 
Instead, raindrops were jumping all over like the tiny people dancing. Oh, my dears, you can see the lovely little face she made the day before. And now the beautiful chalk has sort of merged with this rain and the sidewalk and it's all sorts of beautiful colors. The street was crowded and noisy, but she whispered to herself, I must walk straight like a grown-up lady. Oh, and there she is with her blue umbrella. She's walking by herself next to her mother, yes, with all the people walking and the horses. Oh my goodness, lots of things going on on the street with the rain. On the umbrella, raindrops made wonderful music she had never heard before. Bon polo, bon polo, bon polo, bon polo, bon polo, bon polo, polo polo, bon polo, polo polo, bon polo, boto, boto, bon polo, boto, boto, bon polo. Look at her, my darlings. She's in her own little world under her beautiful blue umbrella and she's holding on with both hands so it doesn't get blown away by the wind. The rain did not stop all day long. Momo watched it at times while she was playing the games at the nursery school. Yes, my dears, all the lovely children are looking out the window and seeing the rain coming down. She did not forget her umbrella when her father came to take her home. She used to forget her mittens or her scarf so easily, but not her umbrella. Oh, and here she comes down the stairs with her umbrella. Her father's waiting. He has on his black boots and his umbrella. The street was crowded and noisy, but she whispered to herself, I must walk straight like a grown-up lady and there she is walking with her father oh and there's an, an orangey red umbrella going the other direction and we have another blue umbrella lots of people on the street with umbrellas aren't they darlings on her umbrella the raindrops made the wonderful music bon polo bon polo bon polo bon polo bon polo bon polo 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 Bon polo, 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 bon polo, boto, boto, bon polo, boto, boto, bon polo. All the way home. And there she is again under her umbrella. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? And she's holding on tight with both hands. Oh, another calligraphy for her name, Momo, which means peach. Momo is a big girl now. And this is a story she does not remember at all. Oh, look how she's grown up, my dears. How wonderful. What a sweet face, yes. Oh, it's a lovely smile. Does she remember or not? It was not only the first day in her life that she used her umbrella. It was also the first day in her life that she walked alone without holding either her mother's or her father's hand. Oh, my darlings, and look at the wonderful window again. We have the birds flying, yes. The change of seasons as we grow older, yes. How wonderful. The end. <laughs>